We are from company Construction Crew Limited from UK. We are one of the biggest company in service and maintenance in UK. We also build sites with Bioconstruct GmbH. Uh, we supply them with our people and we build sites with them. So we install big mix systems uh, before in UK in loads of our sites. Can you tell us what is the newest technologies now on the big mix system? What 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 changed? What changes since a couple of years ago and till now? We have a completely stainless steel version. So the bottom plate, yeah, it's a one piece welded construction made of stainless steel. Height of 500 millimeter. Yeah, and um, that is important if you want to process, for example, vegetable waste with a high moisture content. So that was the next level. So this. This could be uh, quite useful for wood food waste sites, yeah? That's right, yeah. Okay. Um, is this moving floor or it's, it's just standing higher because to... What is the purpose to lift the floor? Because this, this, this part of the floor is higher and that one is lower and then you have the mixing yeah, that's, system. It's just due to the uh, construction because we have um, uh, um, plastic bearings on the knees which will hold the uh, push strips in position. Okay. Yeah, therefore, we have a step and the um, agricultural waste or food waste will break down into the mixing and processing area. Okay. So we have the storage area on the right, that is the hydraulic area with the push strips. And on the left, we have a processing and mixing area to process big blocks of substrate, to grind it a bit, yeah. to cut it, and to put it in a screw conveyor. And so basically, it feeds up in here. Uh, the, 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 the scraper or the grinder grinds everything in a smaller fracture, sends it into the uh, auger, and it goes into the pumps and that's correct. It's sent okay, into the yeah. tanks. So we can we can um, forward the substrate via uh, by um, screw conveyors directly into the digester yeah. or on hammer mills, but also on, on liquid feeding systems to pump it in different digesters. Do you have anybody uh, on, from your side in UK? Any any particular service uh, company you use to install things, um, or you supply uh, always your customers with your people people from Germany? So we supply everything from Germany in, in Europe. We have um, a warehouse with tools in the UK, so we can handle the service uh, fast and easy. How quick uh, is the service available for our customers in the UK? In, From, in one day. In Within one day. Yeah. Brilliant, guys. It's really, really brilliant, that pump. Uh, this big mix... Pump, really, this, the company's name is Pump, isn't it? It's Conrad Pump, yeah. Conrad Pump, yeah. So they, 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 they can react within one day, which is really, really helpful within biogas industry. Um, is there anything particular you want to shout out to customers in the UK uh, so, so they know that there is something new from, from your company? Yeah, we have a new control cabinet and um, a touch panel to control the complete system that is on, on the end of the big mix. Okay. So are those control panels are available to fit on old machines as well or not? Old, old feeders. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And so they will completely control the system? Yeah, we can control the complete feeding system, including screw conveyors, hammer mill. We have a remote access from Germany, so we can also do updates, do uh, commissioning, um, first commissioning from, from Germany. Okay. This is, uh, operators. And what is, what is the basic uh, benefit from the new technology? From the old one and now to the new one, what is the difference and why, why our customers should use it? We are more flexible. We can do updates from Germany. We have more control on all the drive motors. We have frequency converters to uh, reduce the flow rate, for example, if, if um, the liquid feeding system is on high power. Um, we can save energy and we are here due to the frequency converters and our control. So basically with you having an access to the computers and seeing how the engines are working and all the system, you can also see some upcoming failures in the engines and you can also suggest the customer to maybe think about to work on some of the parts. Yeah, yeah. We, we can check that the amps, for example, are going high. So um, after some years, we can see, okay, the drive motor need to be exchanged, for example, before it will get a breakdown. So you can already see that the engine runs already too long and it needs to be changed. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that's a really good feature, I think, because usually on the older systems, it just breaks down and then the panic starts there, you know, because they can't feed. Uh, yeah, it's really, really, really and truly um, people out there, it's really helpful to have these new technologies because, see, uh, Conrad Pam can see in their offices what's going on with your feeding system and by that, they can already see 
weeks or days before the engine could go dead uh, and they can suggest you that you need to change it before it goes dead and then the panic comes you can't feed it and you can't use your systems yeah it's, it was really nice to talk with you